the briefings I got were all pressure plates, nothing but pressure plates. It's like the classic story. And you walk up and I'm like, hey, where, you know, where's the ID? And they're like, it's right here. I get out my shibel and I find, you know, a piece of wood that's ringing off. And like the more I kind of dig it out, it was a, it was a log, like a, not a log, like a stick that they had carved out and put batteries in. So I started following the wires out to that. And, and it was a little black box. It took me a second and like a little black wire kind of stuck up. And I realized like, oh, that's one of these DTMF spider devices they've been talking about. Like this is an RCID. I'm like sitting on top of an RCID with no ECM. So I got up and like I put a line on it I, and I was like waving some guys towards me as they were. And I was telling them, don't, don't actually come. I was like, just like, cause I just, I just had a feeling somebody was like, just trying to kill me. Like I pulled the whole thing out and we, and blew the road back up. I was walking back and there was an army first lieutenant that was there with us. And he would, he was working the um, locator for locating people with radios. And uh, he's like, yeah, man, it was really weird. Somebody was like, sounded like they're trying to dial a phone. And I'm like, I'm like, that was them trying to crack off that DTMF board the whole time I was there. That was that was it though. I was I remember just thinking, <sighs> like you got lucky. I smoked a cigarette, and we walked back. Never again did I leave the ECM behind.